Well, hello everyone, Go Coin here and welcome to another episode of Foundation in the Fluvial map. We are quote unquote right here where we left it. As you can see, I'm going to pause the game here. As you can see, I got inspired <laughs> and I've decided to build our second tavern. Now, this tavern, as you can see, is a big, massive tavern. It's going to serve as a inn, quote unquote inn, and as well as selling beer and future wine obviously uh, the wine cannot be sold yet because uh, we're waiting for a beautiful monastery and as you can see we're almost there guys 400 uh, more polish stone uh, the plants can be delivered the tools i believe it can be that they can be delivered right away as well but yeah uh, and of course the glass which is being produced at the moment but yeah here's the the tavern as you can see it's gonna cost us uh 418 planks which uh, it shouldn't be a problem 86 polish stones we can produce those 144 tools and 300 390 stone now obviously what it's going to cost the most is the tools uh because we're also using them for the monastery but it's going to take time uh what i'm thinking here guys is that maybe in the future we spend this wall all around here make a little entrance here so make this wall the main the main gate or the main entrance wall we'll see how it goes but for now i'm gonna leave it as is i added a entrance here on the back on the on the or one of the side i was thinking maybe deleted that entrance i mean i don't think it might be a bad idea to delete it to be honest so the other thing that we can do is something like that completely close and the tavern is gonna have just one entrance obviously we can actually uh redesign this and you know make it more center there and push this a little bit you know to the inside i mean we can play with it with the walls later on but for now we can just leave it as is obviously with the with this we can actually push a little bit back so the, the the stables can have more room there we added i added a kitchen there but obviously the walls doesn't bother me too much because it's just a placeholder we can modify those uh this is the entrance obviously we can place i i wanted to place some some signs here but they, they are snapping I can turn off snapping for now, but I just want to see how it looks like first before I decide to move on. Uh, one, one, one thing I wanted to, to note right here before we move on here is that these little houses, uh, I thought I thought they were little houses, but they're skylights. I didn't read the name completely, so they attach to the buildings. They don't attach to all buildings. As you can see, they attach to some of the, the buildings here, but I tried attaching one here in the middle, but it won't attach. So they attach to the sides of it. Ideally, I wanted to attach it here, but but you can see it won't attach. I mean, we can place two more here if we do, if we don't. Let me know if we want. But I think it's looking phenomenal. Uh, I'm just gonna build it as is, and in the future, obviously, we can expand it. So let's go ahead and assign it. Now you may wonder what what was here, right? Uh, what did what did we have in the in this position, right? In this uh, uh, place right here. Well, we had a wood cutter now but the thing about the woodcutter here is that they were uh, uh the woodcutter was occupied by uh, what is it where are they uh, by commoners and i think they just got <laughs> uh, that was th one thing i wanted to say uh well, i guess yeah they, they're probably gonna get a before they actually get assigned to those they're surf surf and commoners yeah well let, let's still i'm gonna leave it as is but I, I was worried that they actually they were their house was I believe it's this one, one of these actually, and I didn't want them to go all the way down there and, you know, be uh, very far away from home and then start complaining about it. We'll see how it goes, uh, not to worry about it. And I think this wall, okay, I thought the, the wall got bugged there. Obviously, the wall has its flaws, but I'm just going to leave it as is. And the other thing that was here was a uh, CD, a builder workshop, which I just moved this way. Now, let's gonna do a quick summary of what we did last episode. Basically, last episode we expanded this territory, and as you can see, I actually added a wall here to prevent people to walk this way. And and actually, our woodcutters finished this job here. So why don't we actually fi uh, uh, you know fix this issue here that we had? Or not an issue, but it was a temporary placeholder there. So i know they're walking here I, I can see they're walking through here as well i really don't want them to walk through there let's see see let's see if we can actually add that here and see if we can actually force them somehow to walk around instead all right i'm gonna add that there and then this guy here is gonna go around here obviously i don't want to go too far there because 
they're gonna utilize in this uh, they're gonna be using this space for walking in and they're gonna make a pass there so why don't we actually expand it this way like that let's see how it goes like that and then we can actually add another one here if we absolutely want to and we need to actually uh so yeah that's that's expansion we can actually assign two millers here let's see our wheat count and yeah as you can see the bad weather is gone while i was building the tavern i forgot to play uh, to pause the game and we play a little bit so the bad weather is gone so it looks like wheat is looking okay i mean we can add two guys here two you know two people there i don't think it's gonna hurt uh and then that way we can start filling up jobs uh another thing that we actually uh what happened during my building of the tavern was this cheese maker got built completely so i assigned two cheese makers there obviously our milk situation uh it's uh you know it's we have a lot of no no not a lot of milk but more milk that, that than cheese that we're producing so we need to improve that there uh, hopefully we can actually improve the wheat farm here i really want the wheat farm to improve uh, or at least the wheat count as you can see they're walking all the, all the way down here so what i'm gonna do is gonna for you know forbid walking around this area i don't want anyone walking around this area whatsoever if they want to walk in here they can go around uh i don't care <laughs> As you can see, you see they're 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 doing it. They don't care. They're giving two F about it. So let's see how we can actually block this path here. Hopefully, we can actually force them there because I don't really want them to walk nearby uh, the the wheat farm. Obviously, if we if it comes to it, we just delete this forager and we we'll see how it goes. One thing I'm gonna do is remove the yeah the oh let's gonna remove all of these. Oh sorry 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 <laughs> I didn't mean to. But there you go so yeah look at that they're walking yep yeah, they, they don't care they're walking through it yeah i really don't know how how can we block them i mean if we if we place something here like a forbidden land here they won't like it so i mean these guys won't be able to enter so why don't we do this instead let's go ahead and block this area right here and then what we can do to counterpart that uh, wheat farm it looks like they're not being able to do the whole thing so let's go ahead and do it as is just for now uh is that all right yeah about it it's not perfectly but oh, they, oh look at oh, okay i thought i thought they were they were gonna go around oh look at that yeah they're finding their way they really don't want to walk around yeah i really don't want them to do that all right so here's what we're gonna do they they want to be funny let's go ahead and let's let's go ahead and be funny then let's go ahead and block them all the way around here something like that I think that's gonna fully block them right, right, right now what hasn't been re hasn't refreshed yet but i'm pretty sure that's gonna make them walk through here yeah there you go all right perfect that's what i wanted let's see let's see if we actually do it up oh, village path block now we block their path oh, it looks like no one thing i i just saw is that there was a food shortage somebody was complaining that they're no able to eat village okay where are you you cannot reach your house. What are you talking about? I mean, you should be able to reach your house. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you should be able to reach your house. Although maybe they're complaining about not being able to go through here. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and open this path. They can walk through here, but go here. Okay, I think that that should fix it. One thing I just noticed, guys, you, you see you see what I'm talking about? <laughs> People started to eat fish like crazy. We had 700 and all of a sudden we have none. You see what I mean? So I think we actually, I mean, we, we can get away with two more here. I was thinking that from the beginning of the episode, maybe adding two more, two more here, two more fishing hot. Part must be in the water. I mean, uh, oh, uh, <laughs> it's the other way around, obviously. Yeah, let's go ahead and add that guy there. And in fact... Why don't we add another one here on the back? I really want this island to be very, very fishy. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and add, add two more and see how it goes. But yeah, our fish count went down tremendously because obviously people are not being able to find bread. And that and that makes me think we might actually need another wheat farm here. Uh, we actually might need to do so that in order to uh, improve our wheat uh, our bread situation another thing that we can actually do is add it here but i don't want to add anything here until we resolve this situation uh people would want to want i mean would like to i mean they're gonna need houses nearby 
and I don't think where they can build it right now. I mean, the only spot that I see is this one right here, and it's kind of like far away. So uh, I'm not going to add anything else here until we actually convert that into a mission. I mean, into a residential area. Speaking of missions, let's go ahead and assign those military missions right away. Send them on their way. Obviously, this is wounded. I, I bet that the other the other thing, the, the, the monument right there is not providing the... Oh, it is actually. Yeah, cool. All right, so I guess uh, we didn't give them enough time to heal fully. All right, this guy looks like it's finished. Let's just start doing... Uh, let Continue doing the same note here. I just saw that it found a uh, stone. <laughs> it's not very useful there, but it is what it is. All right, so yeah, let's take care of that wheat situation. We have enough wheat. I mean, we should we should have enough uh, millers. Uh, and then, obviously, we don't have enough flour for the bakeries to produce so what i'm gonna do is add another one of these guys right here i'm, I'm gonna be careful with this oh what are they doing why are they walking that way they should not be walking through here uh they should be using this road rather so that makes me think why don't we have we're probably gonna need to push this a little bit here and close that entrance there yeah why don't we do that let's go ahead and push that here and close this entrance uh, let's see if actually that that forced them to to go i don't know how to close them to be honest i really want them to go through here rather than the other way so we might actually well we we'll, we'll might we we'll might fix it later on so we'll see how it goes i mean these guys we can actually remove but i'm gonna keep in there because since uh it looks like they're actually producing something or actually you know what let's go ahead and remove them from there and remove that uh, building right here and then remove them from here I remove that building that way we can actually add the other wheat farm i mean we're gonna have a lot of unemployment and what we can do actually is just cancel immigration for now until we resolve this uh bread situation i mean we have enough wheat i'm thinking maybe adding one more wheat farm and maybe two uh windmills so this guy is farming let's take a look this guy is farming this way so I think this guy right here. Yep, I think that's actually a nice position. No access to goods. What are you talking about? We have 800 something. Uh, you're a citizen. No access to goods. So maybe they're complaining for the second type, type of uh, goods, maybe. Let's see. All right, so we have three there. We have 47 common wares here. Uh, that makes me think, do we have enough? Yeah, we have enough iron. So that should be good. Uh, obviously, this consumes tools. And uh, uh, it's, imp it's improved by two, right? Remember, we build that part. Now, can we build several? No, it's just max, one max per building. Promotion available. Do we want to send everybody to surf? Yes, we certainly do want to do that. And then add another windmill. Now, we're probably going to need to close this right here. All right, so let's go ahead and close this wheat farm, this farming area. Let's go ahead and close it around here, I believe. I believe this is the best spot to close it. Kind of like right here. And we can actually leave it open here and we'll see how it goes there. So we can actually maybe with the wall go around. We'll see. We, we will need to play with it actually. <laughs> it's not fully, fully. Don't don't see it as it's 100% built and, and it's the final product. <laughs> we're going to be changing that a lot. So we, this wheat farm, obviously we're going to need that. I'm actually going to add two windmills. I'm thinking maybe adding the windmills somewhere nearby. Oh, there you go. Let's go ahead and keep them. Somewhere here, right? This right now is a, <laughs> it's kind of like a, like an octopus, right? It's a, like a spider web. <laughs> we don't know where people are going and in what direction. So why don't we add this windmill? I really want to add it somewhere here, but I really don't want to use this space for anything. So one thing we actually can do is take a look at um, never mind. You see, I was going to add another windmill, but it's gone. We don't need that windmill. The wheat is gone like in no time. And that's something that we actually need to think about it. Uh, that I, That's what made me think that we desperately need another uh, wheat farm. So let's go ahead and add assign priority there. Now, makes me think, do we want to produce or uh, make more tools? We, we certainly want to. So if we add another blacksmith, right? Obviously, that's going to affect our iron, right? So we're probably going to need to add another iron smelter. As you can see, we have enough iron ore. I wonder if we actually... Oh, sorry. We actually start producing those already. Let's see. So 
where's the entrance of this guy i believe this is the entrance so uh let's see well they they go in and out from all directions so let's go ahead and assign them right there like that all right so did we start producing i don't know we have not so we can actually start producing more ores if we absolutely want to from here i mean we have three nodes this is forever you know what i mean <laughs> it's gonna take a while to to start producing f uh, iron at full capacity there uh, oh actually we added this one yeah i completely forgot about it yeah we added this i knew we had it somewhere but i completely forgot about it uh that makes me think is this area enough yeah i think it's close enough for that for those guys over there so let's go ahead and add another iron smelter over here and probably another coal uh, charcoal burner we'll have to see so let's add this guy here and probably buy this territory um, that makes me think why don't we buy this oh look at that yeah <laughs> yeah why don't we buy this territory and have people coming here yeah I, I believe this is a really nice spot for them even though they're close to the mining area i mean huh, that's up to them if they want to build their there obviously it's high uh desirability or very high indeed so who wouldn't want to live there actually <laughs> yeah this wall right here we're probably gonna need to remove it and redesign it and whatnot but i mean things i know things are looking a little bit like oh incomplete but one one day uh very soon probably by next episode we'll see uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the duly diligence to uh, fix the decoration here and and redesign the whole thing. Now Nick, this time I'm gonna I'm not gonna forget to unpause uh, to pause the game rather to than unpausing it. I wonder if we actually add more fisher huts here. That's gonna improve. I don't know where our fishing huts are. I mean our fish is going. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 44 sold here. Another fisher hut just got built. Oh, all of them are built. So let's go ahead and start assigning people here. Hopefully nobody complains that no house is available. Uh, I mean, there in, there's enough here, I believe, right? <laughs> I mean, why don't you build it here? Uh, yeah, I believe I believe that's enough for them, hopefully. Uh, with one house, they can fit six people. So we'll see how it goes. But yeah, right here, I mean, we have one, two, three. We have eight I don't know if that's enough if we can add even more i mean we can even add here if we absolutely want to you know what i mean why don't we do that let's add two more here i mean i'm just going crazy with the fish today right yeah let's add two more there and let's see if we can actually force them to use this area for residential obviously i really want to what i want to do is add another common word or i'm pretty sure we actually did did we not add another another like market tender here for goods and they have them sell common words. I mean, our common word situation is not the best right now. We're not producing at full capacity. We're probably gonna need to add another common word workshop uh, in order to uh, satisfy everyone's needs. But the bread is looking better, right? The wheat's looking better. Hopefully that windmill, uh, I'm gonna actually add, I really want the wheat to go fast. I don't want I don't want any wheat to, to be in, in the deposits. So if we actually open this, so we have some here the majority obviously is going to be here and what about in this area i mean these guys yeah i mean we can actually use another windmill here we can think of adding one ah, i see i see a, a really nice spot for that windmill so actually let's grab that windmill and let's place this guy kind of here in the corner i think that's actually going to be very very good oh hopefully that's not too close if it is i'll fix it we'll fix it but hopefully that's well let's see hold on before we move forward here let's go ahead and add it so that it's not disturbing anyone kind of like right there i think that right there is actually better i think it's it's it looks it's looking like it's actually up, uh, outside the wall but i think once it's built it's not gonna be all right we're full of speed here so yeah look at that 210 that makes me think maybe another windmill but i'm i'm not gonna go too crazy because then we're gonna have wind uh, flour like click like, uh, we're not gonna have wheat to produce flour so even right now i mean wheat is going down but as soon as long as the production stays uh, steady it's steady and nice and the bread doesn't go be below oh uh, there you go doesn't go below 150 i'm good to go all right, so makes me think, do we want to actually add another cheese maker here? Uh, we have 100, uh, 105 cheese with uh, 90 milk. Most of that milk is probably stored in this area. It is indeed. 
So we'll see how it goes. It looks like this is completely built. Let's assign someone there. And, uh, ooh, I forgot about that. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Let's go ahead and do that. Obviously, they're going to start walking all around, but that's okay. We'll authorize it for now and see how it goes. So let's go ahead and do all of, all of these right here. I think that should be more than enough for them, hopefully. Yep, let's go ahead and do that. Let's see how it goes with that. All right, military mission available. Are they back? Are they fully healed? I mean, they're they're decently healed, right? We can actually send them back. I mean, I think that bread jumped because of the <laughs> military mission, I believe. All right, so easy. Obviously, we're sending the less strong, the least strongest over there. And then to the difficult one, we're sending the rest. Perfect. Everything is looking phenomenal. Look at look at the, the polished stone. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why is that polished stone like that? wait a minute guys almost there guys now we are going down we're waiting for tools who would imagine i mean if we get to see this monastery built by the end of the episode that's gonna be the best thing ever best thumbnail ever as well <laughs> if, if you see the thumbnail disregard this message <laughs> all right so i think everything is moving forward pretty nicely obviously Oh, look at the beer, guys. The beer is actually going down. I'm, I'm surprised. Uh, we're not producing as much we uh, uh, beer. And why is that? We have just one brewery that's waiting for hop. I wonder if that hop is being is being taken from the hop farm. I mean, from the hop farm. Or, or, or they're waiting for something else. Obviously, they use wheat, right? So, they're probably going to need to go all the way up here to get the wheat to come down here, right? But yeah, so the hop is getting is being, you know, you know, taken from the hop farm here. And the water, we, we built a well right in front of it. So that makes me think once we build that tavern over there, uh, which is almost done. Wow, that was fast. We can actually even assign a cooker right away. But I'm not gonna assign those guys yet. I think we need a forest, another a hot like a, like a hunting hut around here to start producing uh meals and you know boars in a fast capacity and obviously we're gonna we have to increase the milk uh, the the milk and the cheese production maybe adding another cheese maker won't hurt and i'm thinking maybe adding it here but the thing is about about adding another cheese maker i don't know if it's actually going to be very uh, very beneficial if you if you know what i mean because uh let's see if we open here we have 73 milk this guy takes five meal per trip right uh, they can store up to 15 milk. I mean, we can actually assign another, uh, uh, add another cheese maker here, or I'd rather add like three more milk producers here, dairy farms, and maybe two more cheese makers. So why don't we do, do that? Let's go ahead and add dairy farms behind here. Hopefully, uh, I don't know. The housing situation, get, it's, uh, it's getting me worried a little bit. I'm not going to lie, guys. Uh, the housing situation is uh, getting me a little bit worried. Oh, look at that. 10,000 to promote everyone to commoners. Uh, do we want to do that? Uh, maybe, maybe not. I mean, we have 200 serve. We can do 10 more and see how it goes, guys. I really, I'm really scared because they're going to need to start, have two, two type of food. So let's do 10 more and see how it goes. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And let's see how it goes with that. Uh, I mean, they shouldn't be complaining about housing right or, or comfort i mean everything here is very high very high i'm not talking about that <laughs> and now uh, uh, here is average so we can we might improve that we need to improve that and here is average very high high and low obviously houses upgrading yeah we're gonna have a lot of housing upgrading a lot of buildings all the all the builders are gonna get busy and obviously if we want to counterpart that actually let's do this mandate right here so no more, no more there. Huh? Oh no, there it is actually. Yeah, perfect. Uh, no access to comfort. Who's complaining about that? No access to comfort. A lot of people are complaining about comfort. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot see them. Oh, there you go. There she is. Uh, we're 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 working on it. Don't worry about it. We're working on it. We're definitely working on it. Do should we add another uh, builder workshop? I think it wouldn't hurt. Why are people not building? Oh well, actually. Yeah, let's go ahead and actually authorize that. I might have told them not to do that because of something, but okay. Uh, 
I'm going to authorize it. <laughs> Build a workshop. As I said, you can place this guy right here in the back. Well, yeah, I'm going to... Well, actually here. Oh, actually here. In the front. I'm sorry. Uh, there you go. Right there. That's where I'm going to be adding that guy. I actually like to throw those guys everywhere. Wherever I can. Over there. Adding some... Uh, oh, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. So, yeah, that's actually what I'm talking about. Now, Flower is the one that's actually suffering a little bit. Uh, I think I think we're good. I think we're good. Everything's going down to zero or towards zero. 150 wheat. Let's see if actually starts decreasing. Uh, fish is going up again. We're very nice, I guess, because people are starting to eat more bread. Rather. And then everything is looking phenomenal. I mean, we're producing barrel. Looks like we're not selling barrel at fast. Uh, but look at those houses, guys. Look at all these houses right here. Houses are grading everywhere. So our ooh, 16 ongoing constructions. Our people are going to be very, very busy. Oh, look at that Polish stone, guys. Look at that Polish stone. Are we? Oh, my God. We are ready, guys. We are absolutely ready to see the monastery getting built. Obviously, we need five more. But that's about it. I mean, we can buy them if we absolutely want to. And we're probably buying tools, right? We're, we're constantly buying tools, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, we are. Up to Thenny. So, Polish Stones, let's go ahead and start selling everything we have. Obviously, let's go ahead and bring this to 150. Even make it 125. And what else do we want to sell? Bread, fish we're selling. That's okay. I don't care. I don't mind it. Berries we're selling. That's okay. Common cloth. Let's go ahead and keep it at 600. Uh, just in case things go a little bit nasty here. I saw that the fisher huts got built. There you go. Let's assign fishing. Fisher's men there. Start producing more fish even. Charge. Uh, yes, let's go ahead and charge. Actually, what I'm thinking here, guys. Since this is not being used too much. Right? This is not being used whatsoever. I, are you thinking the same I'm thinking? Maybe not, right? But maybe... Why don't we? Yep, you you got it. If you said it, you 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 got it. Yeah, let's go ahead and build a bridge around here, right? Uh, I don't know if this is gonna work out the way I want it to work out, but uh, building a bridge here might actually seem pretty nice because they can actually go in here. We can actually push this a little bit back if we absolutely want to. They can go in here and then travel up and down. Yep, that bridge is going right there. Even here, we can actually place a windmill. Shh, it's a secret. Don't tell anybody. All right, so it looks like uh, we actually have some promotions here. Uh, I'm I'm, I'm going to risk it and go 20 more. So we're going to go to 150 commoners. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. I'm hoping most of them are in this area. If they are in this area, we're probably going to need to see how how we can improve their living conditions and the desirability. But what I what I did uh, was basically pretty simple here. I added another windmill here. As you can see, we are really good on wheat. So I might as well add another. I kind of like thought about it. And uh, actually, uh, I'm tired of citizens complaining about <laughs> not able to find uh, goods, right? Not enough goods or whatever obviously all the tools i mean this guy cannot produce any common words if there are no tools and all the tools are being used at the moment so i decided to add another common word shop and remember we have in fact we already built it so let's go ahead and assign people there we have another iron smelter to counterpart you see no access to comfort i mean this is because of the houses are being built and upgraded and whatnot i'm not gonna complain i'm not gonna worry too much about it and this guy right here is almost finished i'm not gonna assign anything yet until we have the full building all right so that's gonna stay like that until we have the whole building and we'll see how it goes but obviously look at that look at our beautiful monastery wow look at that entrance right here Not like a shade right here they can you know uh, put some wine tables and whatnot who knows what they can do there right the, mo the monks we haven't assigned any monks yet once we build that uh, once we get the whole thing I'm going to go and assign. But all we need to do is bring... And right now, it's nine builders are assigned to the constructions. Uh, last time I checked, there were like 14 builders assigned to that construction. All our builders or most of our builders are basically on that job, are working on that jobs, And that's something really, really nice. 
Uh, this guy right here. Uh, let's go close there. This guy right here looks like steel far from other buildings. I don't know why. I don't know how. But I mean, it, it is what it is, right? And as you can see, I bought this territory. I think it's going to be time for... Oh, look at that. Yeah. The cows, I, I don't like them going that way. It's because of the circle. Remember, I uh, I spoke, I talked about it. Uh, we're probably going to need to push this somewhere back. So, I mean, they're going to walk inside here. I mean, if they want to walk th that way, that's fine. But we'll need to seize. I mean, we'll need to find a way to block their path. Because they're going to, they, they want to, or they have to walk around a circle, as I said. So, yeah. Maybe if we actually push them back a little bit like that. That's gonna improve it. That way they it's you know they use this space. I mean they're they're coming this way. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But this area right here is gonna be our future residential area. Obviously, we're gonna need to add a, a church, a lord manor, probably. Uh I mean, I know I said it in the last episode that the the biggest lord manor is gonna be built here. Maybe there, but no, I'm I'm still thinking the biggest lord manor is gonna be here. Maybe here. One of the biggest Lord Manor ever built in foundation. <laughs> uh, another thing I did, as you can see, I added a forester camp here. I'm having them, I'm having that guy or that girl, I don't know, uh, that guy, yes. I'm add, having that guy plant everything. I don't care what he plants, he can plant everything. And this hunter hut is going to be a sign here and it's going to be hunting all around here. Obviously, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's go ahead and don't remove that. My bad. Hold on. Give me a second here. I forgot that we actually need to uh, reforest first before we can do anything. So I'm going to uh, have the guy just do that part there. Right here. Because uh, there's no point of uh, reforesting this uh, this area, which is already a forest. I mean, ideally, I didn't want them. I, don't, I didn't want it to be plant uh, pines. But it is what it is. If it has to be pines, it has to be pines. You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and do that. And let's wait. Let's wait until we have a, a very, very dense, big forest. Oh, look at that. Almost there, guys. Almost there. One thing I just noticed that got built, and I forgot what it was. We can actually always check here. Uh, transporter, woodcutter, uh, miller, windmill. Okay, the windmill got built. That's fine. What else? Hop farm. Yeah, so the windmill, the transporter, the granary. Where's, where's this granary? Oh, right here, actually. Yeah, we need to assign someone here. Let's assign board there, too. Yep. Let's go ahead and assign people there. That way they don't have to walk. Uh, that's probably why maybe uh, the production is a little bit slow. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> Look at the wood, guys. Wood is going down insanely crazy. But that's okay. It's because we probably remove some of these guys that were cutting wood and whatnot. But in worst case scenario, we, we throw another guy right here. You know what I mean? Like a forester camp somewhere here and produce wood like crazy. Yeah, the cheese making situation. I really wanted to. I, I really want to improve. I really want the cheese to be as close as possible to the bread situation uh i think i think we fixed the the cow situation i mean I, I, it's all about the situations right now right guys <laughs> all right so military missions always doing the military missions uh so once we have you may wonder why are we not upgrading to uh knights or promoting to knights once we have the the monastery uh, a lot of doors are going to be open for us uh, they're going to open for us Especially with the luxury situation. <laughs> you know, it's all about the situation, you guys. <laughs> Who's that complaining about luxury here? Or goods, actually. Is it you? Uh, yeah, it's complaining about goods. Good shortage. Oh, you're a citizen. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, luxury. L goods. Yeah, we're, produce we're, we're, we're about to start producing. So, bear with us there. Uh, let's see. Why don't we buy more tools? So, buy until inventory reaches... Uh, I don't know, 100 maybe? Let's go ahead and go crazy here and buy as many tools as we want, as we can, actually. 100 tools is more than enough. We obviously need to improve uh, with the big Lord Manor. We're actually going to improve the treasury. I mean, we can actually assign some treasury to this guy, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, no, no, disregard. <laughs> disregard what I said. Uh, it, no, it's to this one, right? I believe. I keep forgetting. Uh, no, this is dorms. Treasury, yes, we can actually... Nobody's living here, is it? Oh, yeah, no, people are leaving, so I'm not going to even bother to touch that. Uh, so look at that, guys. <laughs> I'm Obviously, some things are going to go inside, 
obviously it's not a fully monastery we're only going to be producing herbs at the beginning we need to add the wine production probably around here and we need to add the bee the honey production somewhere here actually maybe here might not be a bad idea we can actually start putting it down as we see the monastery getting built but i'm, I'm right away for the whole thing to get built uh, I'd, I'd rather have everything built and assign like 10 <laughs> like 15 or 20 monks and look at that the tavern is built guys very excited about that tavern uh, unfortunately you know the gates are a little bit higher than the wall but that's fine the gate is so i added the balconies here as you can see it's a pretty nice beautiful tavern and the stables right here for people to actually uh, put their horse horses hold all, hold your horses my friend so who, what do we want to add so stone hole let's go ahead and add that as a service counter not a service counter but a public lounge that is a public lounge that is so we have a capacity of a uh, total of 20 let's add one more uh public lounge why don't we add a couple more here uh, hold on let's go ahead and do most of the public lounge uh 48 i'm happy with that and then let's do a safe service counter uh that adds people right or oh, can only serve serves okay that's fine we might actually need let's add, add this one and actually add wine here and beer here and let's uh, go ahead and assign our bartenders right away obviously the wine is going to go away pretty quickly because we we don't have a, a stable production but i'm happy with that right now yeah we should start selling beer i mean we can actually start selling food or meal right away but we need to wait for this guy to to start producing it but but yeah definitely the beer we need to start thinking about where to do more hop farm i was thinking maybe here or i was thinking maybe we can actually combine the wine and the hop together and make it here that's actually might not be a bad idea uh, do we have a granary here we do not so me, we might want to add a granary here we'll see how it goes we definitely need to wait a little bit because we're actually changing this bridge and i'm thinking maybe adding i don't want to add two bridges together so we'll need to figure it out how a way to do it but i really want to add a bridge this size uh i think it's gonna look phenomenal a bridge from here all the way up here so something like that and the you know very tall bridge obviously not like that but something similar like a massive bridge that goes next to the monastery and arrives somewhere here and then maybe to a residential area and whatnot we'll see how it goes but i think that's actually really nice obviously i will need to fix it so that it goes uh, through the water rather than the land right we want it to be up above the water and not the land to look to make it look even better right but obviously look at that yeah it's gonna take <laughs> a lot of the a lot of stone we're probably gonna need to use a lot of this area to do a stone i mean the only thing that we found here was gold and marble that was kind of useful and uh, no marble uh, quartz right uh even quartz i don't think i don't think we we need gold whatsoever i don't think these guys even producing any more uh gold bars because you know we're not using gold bars in any way right now we will we will but but not right now all right so i'm gonna take advantage of this situation oh look at that i don't know if i'm gonna take advantage now that i'm seeing the situation here <laughs> the bread situation uh do we want to go to citizens not yet right we don't we don't want to do that right now we don't have luxury i mean we we have no way to pro uh, to provide luxury but i don't know why what's going on here we're probably going to need to add another bakery because we added another windmill uh this is not being uh, being it's not even functional yet so another bakery here might not be a bad option right kind of like in the middle so yeah let's add a bakery there obviously all, always trying to fix issues here guys always trying to fix issues uh let's see trying to see if we, there's another good spot uh no no this is kind of like far away i really want to keep everything around this area even here i'm actually tending to to add a bakery here if, if i'm honest with you uh yeah let's go ahead and add that bakery here because we're storing wheat here so i may actually here it's actually it's, me it's meant to be that's about it it's meant to be what, what, what are we complaining about it's just meant to be right obviously a well nearby let's throw a well in in front of it always having the bakery fulfilling the bakery needs with uh you know with uh comfort that's that's what i'm talking that's laziness right there 
It doesn't want to walk too too far away for water. We're just placing a well in front of it. You know, you know the cost of a well. You know, we have uh, we need to have our people dig three a hundred feet down, or even more. I don't know, 150, 200 feet down just to get to the water. Incredible, incredible. All right, situation. You know, it's moving forward pretty nicely. Look at look at our milk. I think I think I went bananas a little bit. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I think I went crazy a little bit. And I added more cheese makers. This is I'm, I told you since the beginning. This is good when it was gonna be my messy area. Lots of farm, lots of uh, you know uh, cattle, sheep. Everything here is gonna be all here, uh, and I like it that way. I don't know why. I kind of want to do things differently this time in this run in this series. So I did it. Uh, now obviously I w I will hope I will want to like fix this issue right here because it's not. The best looking one because i have i have farming all over the place i really don't like that but but we'll we'll, we'll need to take time and, and fix it later on once we i mean we might actually delete those and redesign them but i'm not i'm not gonna do it right now no resources to extract i don't know who's saying that so the cheese makers i uh, added two cheese maker here obviously we have a hundred uh, what 200 and something milk just insane but first of all, I add, you know, we have to take care of the bakery first, which is, I mean, the bread is being uh, consumed the most, most than, more than cheese right now. I added two lumber camp here and I told them to cut everything around here. I, I authorized, you know, the extraction, all of this. And obviously, as you can see here, I started to tell them to build houses around here. Obviously, it's going to be a house, a uh, uh, church here. Maybe I put the church here. I don't know. But the market is going to be somewhere here or maybe thinking maybe here. We'll see because I don't want to touch this area too much because this is the messy, uh, industrial, very polluted area. So maybe we go this way, start expanding this way. I mean, to, <laughs> towards the end of the map. Look at that. Oh, wow. We're almost at the end of the map. Look at that. We can even expand this way where we have more fish. I mean, we're, at, we're almost sitting at a thousand fish. Wow, that's incredible. But yeah, look at that. This is here, probably a church right in the middle. Lord Manor somewhere there. We'll see how we fix. We can fix it. All right. As we receive the bad weather, you can see the message here on top. The monastery has been built, guys. Look at that beautiful monastery. And obviously, you're going to see a lot of these messages. And you're going to see a lot of these. And I'm going to show you why in a second. But look at the monastery. Beautiful monastery. I like the, how, how this looks very tiny, very, very close together. And then uh, obviously the passage here that makes the wall. And I think it's a beautiful monastery. Maybe, you know, it could be better, but I think it's a, uh, it's a beautiful monastery overall. And this is our beautiful monastery. I'm very excited about it. Very excited to start assigning some of the monks. We just need to wait for them. And you see a lot of uh, happiness going down, house of grading, things going crazy is because I decided to go to 180 commoners now lots of things to do for, for further episodes started to develop this area right here for the residential area and start adding more production or start adding more stuff to the monastery especially the production and with that i'm gonna be calling it here guys thank you for watching thank you for being here don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment down below I will see you in the next episode. I will see you next time. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.